Howdy, darks. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Happy Saturday. How's it going? How's how's everyone doing? Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> my, my brain is nowhere today. Um, my brain is up there, like the cat, sleeping and unresponsive. Howdy, it's Unchowder. We're playing Solar Ash. We're gonna beat a video game today. How exciting. I'm pretty sure. I, I thought we were gonna beat it last time, but then the game kind of went, mm, no, there's some more bits. Um, so I'm curious how much is actually left. Um, the, the, the select game screen says we're at 85%, so I'm, you know, probably not gonna be a full uh, three hours of, of game left, unless I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to get go back and find the collectibles that we've skipped. Uh, cause there's plenty of those, uh, but either way, we're gonna, we're gonna beat a video game and then we'll see what else we can do. Um, either, either keep playing the video game or do something else. I don't know. We could play Jackbox or something. I don't know. Hang around. Maybe we'll, we'll find some other way to occupy ourselves. Either way, we're here to, we're here to do stuff. Um, today's episode is brought to you by the stars. Those things that are slowly exploding and consuming us all. And also by you clicking those buttons down there uh like and subscribe and joining the discord doing all that good stuff um that's what keeps our singularity from collapsing i don't know something like that um i don't know we're we're gonna i'm just gonna hop into it um yeah that goes there and then this goes here and then here we are um yeah, see it says 85%, we're back at the crater. If you remember, um, just to recap the very ending of last stream, we were, we completed the the needle, we completed the star seed and we turned it on. And then Echo showed up and was like, no, that's a bad idea, like I've been told, telling you this whole time. Uh, and then it turns out that we are an aspect of her that is stuck in a time loop that is continually trying to follow through on this hopeless plan of the starseed thing uh so then it gave us a choice right it gave me a choice to either like activate the starseed and then supposedly just continue on the loop forever and then the other choice was to break the starseed uh so i i decided to break the loop i decided to listen to echo and we blew up the star seed and then some weird things happened uh and then we woke up back at like the starting area but now we are echo right now we are uh yes confirm now we're different uh and we ended right there we ended right on a, a cliffhanger so i have no idea what's going to come next um Oh, it even put his back. Okay, you'll get to see this uh, this cutscene again, I guess. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if that means we should. Um, that would let us get some of those collectibles, right? Um, maybe that's the smart thing. Because we were here, right? The luminous peak. Uh, I wanna. I wanna see. And we're we're missing one bit for for Tufty's suit. Ability unknown. Something about negating magma. Not that that's super important since the magma is only in the one location, so I'm curious about that. Um, we have that one. Um, there's like, there's plenty more. We've only found two bits for this one. There's still four bits to find for that one. Still two to find for that one. And three to find for that one. So yeah, there's plenty to, plenty to find here. Maybe let's, let's see if we can finish Tufty's suit before before pissing off Echo again. Um, I'm curious what that will do for us. I think we got time. I can't imagine, it's not gonna be like a whole nother playthrough, right? It's just gonna be a, a little epilogue kind of bit is my understanding or anticipation, I guess. Uh, what's my, what's my scanny button? No, not that one. I have to remember everything, don't I? This, this one. But I don't think this actually tells me. Are are you seeing? The only thing left to do is act. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? OBS isn't updating with what I'm doing. What does that mean? What I do is this instead. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, well, that seems better. I don't know why that would be different, but okay. Uh, all right. So we are looking for a single cache, and the our scanner is not going to actually tell us where it is, right? Because it's a collectible. Um, yeah, and then Welcome you're back, yeah. Hi. Um, scan for caches. Scan for void runner caches in the sector. Scanning. You're just gonna tell me there's one. Unrecovered void runner log. How can we help you? You tell me where it is. See you around, Sid. Oh, I can even buy a. Welcome Here, let's back, do this. Ray. What can we do for you? Totally buy another one. Finished installation. How can we help you? And the last one costs three thousand. Yeah. Um, okay, so then somewhere in this giant mess of a level is a single cache for us. And it's gonna be like a blue pillar of light, right? It's what we're primarily looking for right now. Uh, yep, yep. And that's just that's just stuff. That's just stuff. Yeah, I don't even know where to look. All the other ones have been so obvious. Like, it gave us all the other caches with such minimal effort. These later levels have a spiral vibe. Yeah, that's fair. The color design, I could definitely see that. Um, I didn't play much Spyro. I was a, I was definitely a Nintendo kid. Uh, so I wasn't doing a lot of the... All a lot of PlayStation stuff. Uh, I didn't get to see. Uh, there's also the Crystal Palace, right? We wanted to go to the Crystal Palace. Which is not that. It was a big closed door thing. I really wish we had like an actual map. That's what I wish we had. Also, hi. Hello! How's it going? Um, we. I don't know if you were here for the end of last stream, um, but we're like. We're kind of at the end. We we did a kind of pivotal end gamey thing, but then the save brought us back to before it. So I'm gonna do some collectibles before we do that again, basically. Um, I guess the nature of it being sort of 3D platformer thing, that's fair. I wait, hate way too much. I ate way too much Chinese food, and that's how it's going. That, that's fair. Also, hi Lanix. Um, it's so easy to eat too much Chinese food, isn't it? Now, what was our way across? There was a way. There was a way. With this one, I'm, I'm gonna have to get my bearings in here again. Oh, but there is a single Void Runner cache in here somewhere, and I want to find it. Whoop. Glad you interpreted hate as eight. <laughs> I mean, my mind is just always on food. That's all. Uh, I had Korean barbecue last night, and it was fabulous. Um, so I'm, I'm mostly just kind of re-exploring our areas here and seeing if I can find... It's gonna be like a, a blue beacony thing, a blue pillar of light is what we're looking for. Oh, and we're in this spot again, which is cool. So all the laser frogs are back. Mm. Oh, but I can just... Why don't I do... Okay, I want to jump up to you. That's all I need to do. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. That was close, though. No, oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. I'm okay. um, pressing, pressing wrong buttons just forever. Hi, cat. Oh, come on. Oh. Cat, you're in the way. 
<laughs> oh, I can't see. I'm fine. Hi. Oh, oh, cat, you are you are perfectly in the way. Hi, come here. I love you, but stop. Oh, I know. Oh, really? For real? For real? For real? So I can't just, I can't just latch onto this one, right? I feel like the the grapple distance is so inconsistent. Is there anything down here? Is this a thing I should be doing? Whoa! I just slid me right off. Got it. No, oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Stupid laser frogs. That means all the laser frogs at the top of this is gonna be. They're just gonna be back. And I have no idea if this is even the right way to be going for the thing we're missing. There was... There was also that Crystal Palace thing, right? That Arik wanted to go to, and that now that we have all of the... Now that we have all the things... Right? What was that? We've done that. We've done all but the last of that. Hmm. No, and then you. Hmm. There's like plenty back. No, this isn't at all what I meant to do. Okay, got it. Hi. Hello. Why did that not? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Is it this? Is this where I want to be? I think. No, this is just one of the other ones. Why? Oh no! Oh no! But this is different. He completed the ritual. Yeah. Okay. Nope, no, he's still alive. Wait, you're alive? I couldn't finish the ritual. I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't bring myself to speak to the antecedent. The first elder. That's the antecedent? That lump over there. Hmm. The 
does your cure work on remnants? Wanderer. Lost soul. You seek hope, yet you pursue despair. Would you find a light in such dark and desperate desolation? I... I'm not sure I follow. Obsession is a poison that leeches into the roots of the world itself. Do not taint the garden any more than you already have. And you, spoiling. The other elders found growth through the ritual. They believe you are stunted. But the mycelium network sees all. No. A life so small, looked down upon by all who came before. I cannot bear it. I can be so much more. No matter how many times you trick this pilgrimage, you are not ready. You are not done with life yet. No, you are mistaken, First Elder. I have never been here before. Hmm. The mycelium sees through the illusion you have found yourself trapped in. I fear your reality has become as porous as the mossy soil you tend. Go now. That's probably our fault. Commit to your path. And fate will find you. Interesting. What does that mean? I mean, that completes the quest. Okay. Leave us. We must I found it tricky to follow along with the plot ahead. of this one. That's fair. Um, I think that's intentional. Alright. It doesn't seem like the elders want you to join them. And the Ultra Void is no place to live. Even for you. I don't know if you noticed, but it's hell out there. You wouldn't understand. This is my sacred duty. Please, leave me be. Isn't all this groveling a bit selfish? It's not helping anyone. Meet me at the star seat at the center mm, of the ultra We're gonna get a different thing out of this, here. okay. You can grow gardens on new planets. The biotic's feat is to live and die. But mine is to ensure the fate of all living things that came before and will come after. I have no home other than this place. Please, just go. I must keep trying. You don't get it. I'm going to destroy this place. There won't be a cycle left to tend to. Even the most powerful biotic is but a flicker in the cycle. It cannot be destroyed, such as you say. I think Ark is going to help us save things for real. Okay, so we've done that. That's cool. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Doesn't help me find my last bit, though. What did the antecedent mean by illusion? Has Ark been on this pilgrimage before? Yeah, so the whole... From the ultra void. But he's trapped, too. Yeah. So... The Ultra Void is stuck in a cycle, and it's kind of our fault, is my, my understanding. We came here to destroy it, but it kind of can't be destroyed, or the thing that we did just kind of rewinds things, and then it happens again. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to end, but... Uh, mostly this is a screwed up place and it's screwed up in a way that we've been trying to fix but is also our fault. That's kind of how I'm interpreting it. I'm just looking around, not seeing anything jumping out at us. Probably up at the top there. I mean, did we get these things in order? It's the last one on the little tracker thing. They kind of do have an order, right? So it's probably it's probably like all the way up at the end. 
all the way up there. And it's gonna be a total pain in the butt to get back to. Let me give it let me give it one solid try. I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna climb the mountain again. Okay, you can just be back up there, that's fine. So I feel like my volume is kind of all over, all over the place. If it's bad, tell me. <laughs> I need to find a more systematic way to get like game sound and music sound and voice sound all playing together nicely. Seems okay. Okay, good. This place just sucks. Okay, hi. Hello. Ugh. Get away from me. Maybe I can do this now that there's not a cat in my face. No, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Can I? Nope. Oh, okay, just barely not. That's fine. No, that's fine. doesn't want to like I don't know. not not quite a uh Whoop, there we go no leave me alone I just ugh. yes but no for it. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Well, we got up here at least. And then we're here. Anything hiding? There's just more plasma-y things. That's just the way we came from. And we've been there, right? We've gotten that one. So if they're all in order, then it's, you know, someplace after this, right? Good view of everything. Just the something stayed dead. I go up here. Not really. Ooh, almost. Okay. 
just making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm sure it's going to be very well hidden. Which is... Is it that? No. It'll be like a blue line, right? Then over here... We've gotten... Okay, so there's another one. The, all the other ones have been so obvious. And it's just the last one is like... Gonna be a total pain in the butt to find. Shut up. Shut up, frog. There you go. What's there? No! Oh, come on. Okay. Come this way. You can get going real fast when you know what you're doing. Oof. There we go. Okay, and then we're up here, and then that goes up there. This is just a, a vista. I know what we should do if we run out of stuff to do. Okay. So now we're here in the bad place. I'm betting, like, it's gotta be in here somewhere, right? It's just gonna be hidden. I know there were some Caves or some like underground passages. You didn't die. Why didn't you die? There we go. Hey, stop it. Guess not there. What about in here? I think I've been in here. Cause this was a there was an elder in here, right? Plenty of plasma. This is just going to be an elder. I don't think there's another way through here. Yeah, we've looked at all this. We talked to this lump. Okay. Imagine it's going to be hidden like that, though. It's going to be like... Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey. Okay, 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 okay. So we've even found this one. Oh, 
There we go. Okay. That doesn't really help me with anything. It just kills the frog. Okay, and then this is Frog Central. Gotta be hiding around here, right? Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. Ah, no, and then we just fell down here, which is exactly where we were. Very cool. I love it. Looking at the lava, is this some kind of fruit juice? It does look tasty, right? At first I thought it was just like a variant of the of the goo ground. But no, it's just straight up lava. It's like a like taffy. Did we ever get a did we ever find out what that's for? What about what's back here? We've been, we've been here. Yeah, okay, so this was part of this. No! No! <laughs> okay, that's the way forward, right? Ooh, boy. I think we can even just climb up here. No, it's not that. Because this was... go back down. This is back down. Maybe that's what we want. Uh, unclear, because we were we've been here, just not here. Oh, no, we have been. Okay. Okay, so I didn't have to do any of that. I could have just gone this way. Good to know. And where the heck is this last one? It's gotta be like right over here. It's just, it's gotta be on this little islandy bit, right? Unless it's like some space that's only opened after you beat the boss? But what would that even be? Hmm. No. I mean, we'd be able to see it from here. Right? It should be obvious. It should be like right in front of us. Maybe it's like part of this jumping puzzle? So we would have to get up. in a way that we haven't before. I mean, have we been... We've been in there. We've been to all these places. There's nothing. There's nothing. Where are you hiding it from me?
Yeah, well, where the heck would it be? Feels like it's not here, but I don't know where else it should be. Which means it would be back... Back down below? I mean, the skull of the big boss thing is still there. Maybe that gets us somewhere we couldn't go before? I really don't know. <laughs> uh, if we can't find it in the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, then we're just going to move on. Because there's, there's the skull, right? There's the thing. Grab onto that one. Weird. I mean, I could land on it, right? I can do one of these things. Oh, come on. Come on! I was holding the button. There we go. Okay. Are you hiding something for me? Uh, ha, okay. Yeah, I don't think this is what they intend. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do the thing. I'm curious if this is going to be different now that we have Arx quest done. I think the Mushroom Elders know what's up. Of all the people who don't know what's going on, the Mushroom Elders kind of know what's going on. Um, and I'm also going to turn down the music just a tiny bit here so that our, our dialogue can come through a little bit. Um, I know that that's, I know that that's a thing. Is there something Hello. You can do to help? Yes, you can fix everything, please. Um, no. Who locked you out? Maybe that's what. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, this wasn't a thing that happened before. Um, it was going to be Tufty, right? Tufty be behind the sabotage. We are sad to say, even our memories of dear Tufty are difficult to interpret. Please, Ray, hmm. locate her data logs and find out what happened to her. Uh, but I, I have. I. It had to be Pyatt, right? Pyatt believed the Starseed was a holy vessel sent to us by the Divine, destined to save our people. Truly, we do not know what inspired this unusual interpretation. The Starseed is a wonder of science, but we have never detected any signs of communication with extraplanar alien entities. Maybe he believed overpowering the Starseed was a holy act of some kind. Sounds quite plausible. Hmm. Mm. Sid, is it possible that our memories of Irving are difficult yeah. to interpret? Perhaps whatever the plan was, okay. it obviously didn't work. The more we learn, the less sense any of it makes. I found another Void Runner. I found Verse. He didn't make it. It looked like he was frozen in the moment he died. Oh, we... We're afraid our programming fails us in the face of such a tragedy. He was so young. Our memories are difficult to decipher, but Verse managed to leave an imprint. We recall him saying, Everything here is broken. Nothing stays fixed for long. He got quite frustrated, as he often did. Then apologized for yelling at us. <laughs> it is fuzzy, but I believe he said he needed to blow off some steam, then inhaled deeply on a stem 
while he looked up at our planet. Perhaps it is a result of our damaged memory cells, but did he mean to say he needed to blow in some steam? Don't think about it too hard, Sid. Sid. It sounds like he was just having a bad day. All of us, we've taken on so much coming here. The idea that we might fail, let all those people down. I don't think Verse could handle it. Let's activate the star seat, Sid. For everyone back home. And for Verse. Something must have gone wrong. Another Void Runner. Lost. I found Pyatt's body. Poor Pyatt. We are attempting to recall a memory fragment. Perhaps we are mistaken. But we believe he was exuberant. He said something like, <laughs> The laws of equivalent exchange will set That bodes well. Right. Yes, that's right. He wanted to know if our processor was complex enough to understand the true power of the starseed and why he came here. We have true power. Can the starseed do more than just collapse the ultra void? Uncertain. You're still just assuming it can do that. Unexplored technology. And despite our best efforts, unpredictable. Perhaps Pyatt knew more than he revealed. That was his way. It is productive to remember. Did our story comfort you? No, <laughs> not really, Sid. But thanks for trying. We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. Actually, I need something Why is this else. different? <laughs> uh, other We've questions. We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. Actually, I need something else. I said it. Uh, do I still need to go... If we still need to talk to Sid here. Because after beating the boss, we talked to Sid. Back, and they were Ray. like, I what can't do the do thing. Who locked you out and overloaded your guess is as good? Hmm. Hmm. Do I need to find the thing? Okay, now I'm just confused. Can I just go up the thing? Something tells me stopping the game where we were. Okay, so I can just go up. That's... We can just do it. Okay, we're gonna do the thing. Let's do the thing. Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna do the thing. It's quite big, ain't it? It's also quite rumbly. So this is what we did last time. We're going to come up here and we're going to activate the star seed, right? Inspect. And our planet is going to recede into the distance and everything is fine, right? Everything's perfect. But it comes back anyway. Yeah. I don't think that's good for our planet. I think that's a bad thing. This can't be. Hmm. 
And here she is. You see it now, don't you? You finally see the truth. Truth is what I make it. I can bring them all back. You sound like me. You always do at the end. Do not draw this out. Show some mercy. Been trying to get some work done while lurking, but the visual too distracting and glorious. I know, right? It's a very good looking game. No, please explain. We were too late. We've always been too late. Q. Q knew our plan was already lost. But I couldn't face the truth. Thought I could use the star seed to change what had already come to pass. Who are you? I'm a relic of the past. And you're the part of me that won't let me forget. Forever repeating our mistakes. So that's the key to everything, I think, right? Um, Echo is the person that we think we are, basically. Um, she's the Void Runner that came to try and activate the Star Seed, but failed. They were too late. Uh, the Star Seed didn't do anything to save their planet. So now she's stuck in this weird limbo, time loopy nonsense of an Ultra Void. And our player character is some aspect of her that keeps reliving her, her mistakes. That's how I interpret this. We are two halves split by the Star Seed, eternally tessellating. But that means the Star Seed doesn't reverse time. It, it just repeats it. choice left to make. Accept the truth. Destroy the star seed. Let me go. That gives you a choice. Can I like, I can't leave. I wish, I mean, I thought Auric was going to be here. What does Auric have to say? I'll do the same thing I did last time. I said destroy. Listen. I'm curious what the difference Why? is. Everything's better, right? Game over. Once Credits. I can't see past this moment. I see it now. There's no saving them. All I did was prolong their suffering. things. Good things are happening. Game is grim. Yeah, a little bit. But it's so bright and colorful. It's it's cheerful and happy, right? The pain is gone. Yeah, so now now I we are echo. Like I can breathe again. And this is where we stopped. This is... I, I don't know what's going on from here. But we still have all of our abilities, right? We can still time slip and, and stuff. And we're, we're back at the beginning. Uh, but we don't have a UI or anything. It's not... We're not collecting... Uh, plasma. I feel like our jump is a little bit higher, too. What's this? A door. Oh, hey, Sid! Explain, please! 
see it? It's... How are you? Oh, we knew we would see you again. But something is different. Did you get a haircut? You're Sid? Do you see me? It's been so... How long has it been? I wasn't sure I still existed. I never thought I'd talk to you again. Like how they can be on the nose with some hints, Echo and Star Seed cough, yeah. Uh, while maintaining enough mystery to keep one hooked, yeah. We are totally. remembering everything. Our arrival. The deaths of the Void Runners. The end of our planet. So much has been lost. And yet, we are still here. We believe. Like that's a it's a really delicate balance, right? Because the way this plays out, it feels yay, more shinies. Um, it this isn't this doesn't feel out of left field, right? For the whole game we've been feeling, or at least I've been feeling, like there's clearly something we're not being told. There's something that's not being explained to us, and it's about us. Um, this whole thing about all the planets that the ultra void is consuming, the people don't deserve it, right? Um Echo keeps talking about how we are torturing her and how the 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 mycelium elders are talking about how we are poisoning the the landscape and things like that. It's like it's this isn't out of left field, but it's also not quite what we expected, right? I don't know. That's a really it's really hard to do. I missed you too, Sid. Even still, you are not complete. Does that make sense? Well, I didn't find all the collectibles. Ray, I know that much. I... We destroyed the star seed. It's not over yet, is it? You better go see for yourself. <laughs> oh. Jump is higher. I think our jump is higher. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks worse now. Oh. Oh, no. She broke the cycle, but she still became a monster. Just like every time before. The remnants are us, us people. So now we have to fight our remnant. She ended the starseed cycle, so you might have the chance to end another. She's still part of you, isn't she? <laughs> I'd say so. Oh God. I spent lifetimes watching her become a now it's all red goo. monster. Clutching at her version of the truth. She didn't know, but she does now. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. I have to end this. Does she need to be destroyed? Perhaps there's another way. Wait. Oh. Let's talk it out. What do you see? She's angrier at herself than anything else. Her hate, her sorrow, her... My guilt. I see myself. We're the same, but... She's beyond saving. You were too once. I don't have a choice. I need to put her out of her misery. Why put someone out of their misery when you can pull them out? An interesting question, but uh Oh yeah, you you're gonna you're gonna start doing stuff, aren't you? You're all gonna be all weird and gross. Uh can I can I land on this ground? Is this bad ground? No, it's just goo. This goo is fine. Hi. Oh I'm gonna have to I wanna skate up those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wretched Ray. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Hello. Let me go. Ooh, oh, no, I touched it. I touched it. Okay. I got you. Come at me. Oof. That's dramatic. Okay. 
from there. And then we're gonna come down here. Uh, what are we doing? Oh. Oh, we're just gonna pull all the stuff out. Okay. I guess that's probably a good thing. Like, just, it's the star seed, right? She's completely harpooned by the star seed. Oop, this way. No! <laughs> Dang. Okay. You gotta keep your... it's Keep your momentum going in the same direction. Oh, jeez. We're just... We're falling parallel to the ground. That's always good. Oop. Okay. Whoop, okay, and then, yeah, and then like this, and then we do the thing! Yeah, doesn't that feel better? So this is probably like, I wonder what the other ending looks like. Whoa. Oh. Should I screw up? I think I missed one. Be more careful with my with my shots. Okay. And then here and then down here. Uh, oh my god, I did not think I was going to make that one. Oh, or that one, for that matter. Oh, it's... Okay, and we're still doing these things. Oh, we're that was really here. close. And we're not alone. Better? Uh, oh, we still got one more. We can't go back and change the past. <laughs> Is that the best way to do that? We have to pick up the pieces and fix what's left. The truth is a heavy burden, but we can carry it together. Ooh, stop stabbing me. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. We look way cool now. Time moves on. The Ultra Roy is stable now. But there's so much work to be done. So much to rebuild. Our heart aches for the loss of those we all cared for. And the home none of us can return to. The world is healing. What's left here is... Oh yeah, how are you? Not without potential. 
This could be a place. Start something new. Oh yeah, that guy. You're gonna leave? Can you leave? Are you alright, Ray? I think I will be. So we just live here now? Very cool. Very, very good. Uh, just the visuals. The visuals are perfect. The 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 very the bright cell shady, like kind of animated style. Like it's obviously not hand drawn animations, but the way they do it in some, especially some of those like um like the white and black silhouette shots. Like it might as well be hand drawn. It's it's just like it has the same effect. Uh, and then like. I don't know, the, the super bright colors, but like with the really kind of grimness going on. Uh, it's it's good. It's very, very good. I love it. That was, that was perfect. Uh, and that's just going to be the end, right? Is there, is there a new game plus kind of a thing? It's a uh, 91%. So I bet you we can go back to right before that. I wonder if we can just do the other ending. Let's just do the other ending. If that's a thing that it's gonna let us do. Yeah, hey, cool. Okay. Who wants to see the bad ending? <laughs> so I was kind of hoping we'd get like a, a new game plus where we looked like that uh, recombined ray. That'd be cool too. I can't skip this. It was a joy to watch. Also, yes for the bad ending. <laughs> Excellent, yes. Yeah, like, just, yeah, visually stunning. Not... Not super over the top, but like this. Like, it's just... It's, it's, it's perfect. It's... I was expecting Arok to be up here. Or something. He's not, like, just down there, right? Yeah, this, this is all going to happen the same, right? Oh no, our planet has been screwed this whole time. No, 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 no! This can't be! The needle that's going through her, I think, is the star seed. In like a metaphorical whatever somethingness. Don't you get it? We were too late. We've always been too late. Q Q knew our planet was already lost. But I couldn't face the truth. I thought I could use the star seed to change what had already come to pass. Who are you? I'm a relic of the past. And you're the part of me that won't let me forget. Forever repeating our mistakes. We are two halves split by the star seed. Eternally. 
constantly tessellating. But that means the star seed doesn't reverse time. It, it just repeats it. Over and over, our world is ripped apart. We've never had a choice. The clouds you dance on are the remains of our home. I can't accept that. I'll start over. There's only one choice left to make. Accept the truth. Destroy the star seed. I'll never let go. So then we're gonna fight her. You will see. Around we go. I'll see you very soon, little one. We're gonna fight her. She's gonna be pissed. Is it over? Nope. This, this still happens. Our remnants. Ooh. Okay. So Huh? But we have a shield again. We have our, our UI is back. What does that mean? It's all the same still. Oh, it just ends. Interesting. True purgatory ending. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Like, there wasn't even an achievement for that ending. Hmm. That's just a straight up non ending. Wow. Uh, activate the star seed. 17.5% of players have this achievement. Jeez. Or no, okay. So that was that was the one we just did. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so then. So most people. Twice as many people have destroyed the star seed as activated the star seed. That's really interesting. Uh, collect all stashes. Kill three enemies without touching the ground. Complete quests. Complete quests. 100% completion. Find all the lost journals. Remain airborne for 10 seconds. Oh dear. Complete the game in under three hours. Nice. Uh, complete the game on hardcore mode. Interesting. Okay. That's fair. Um. So then what did completing Ark's quest do for us? I kind of thought he would play a part in this final sequence. Because the quest is still done, right? We've We've completed your quest. Maybe he just, he didn't come. He didn't listen to us. Hmm. Interesting. I have half a mind to try and see if we can find more of these caches, but I'm not gonna press too hard, I don't think. Um, this is the first zone. I mean, we even went through most of this. I don't know how many more spots there are to even check. So you have to speed run the game to 100%. It. Yep, absolutely. We can call it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, three hours. I wonder how hard that is. 
Because we did it in... Seven, maybe? And that was while exploring, obviously. True ending percent. True ending percent is 56 minutes 29 seconds. That's intense. That's pretty intense. And by true ending percent, does that mean is that like all the collectibles, or is that the ending that we got? Is that a different ending? There's only achievements for those two endings. I want like a um I wanna fight the bosses again. I want a boss rush. Someone give me a boss rush mode. Good ending, I assume, yeah. And we've been up the clock tower. Been up that. We've been over there. I think we've been up here. It was just much more goo at the time. Whoop! Ha! Oh, that's not what I meant. Okay. We're here now. Hmm. Did credits roll on the bad ending? They did, yes. I skipped them pretty quick, but they did do it did do credits. There was just no boss fight. There was no it was like you activate the star seed and you go, oh look, it repeated, and then it goes credits. There's like three more in here, aren't there? There's three more in here. I have no idea where to look. Get the speed speed run layout ready. Got a world record to beat. Ha! Well, this does seem like a fun game to speed run. Like going fast in this game does feel good. Definitely can see that. Ha, ho, ha. <laughs> like we've been through here. We've been through all of this. I wish I could get like a hint or of some kind for where the caches are. Because we have nothing, right? We're just... We're told they exist. Born teachers from a journal that came down... The stars came stars crashing came down. Crashing I think Iron Root is on fire. Yeah, it is. My apartment in the city has never gone down to pause. Well, close. about all this stuff with the dross, too. They didn't really... Like, obviously, there was... 
something bad happening to the Baruki. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there's a thing here. Hi. didn't really do anything for me. Apparently Ray slash Echo share a voice actor, no surprise, but she is also apparently the voice of Loba from Apex. Huh. Okay, I guess I could see that. Has she done a bunch of stuff? It's gonna be one of those names that's done like half the video games you've ever heard of. Side, right? I mean, yeah, we've been to we've been to all these places. Hmm, couldn't tell from lack of flirting from Ray. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um. What do you all think? So the the only thing that I know of to to keep finding in here are the caches. We're gonna get suit parts, which you know only matter so much now that we've beaten the game. Um, but we could switch games. Um, there is another game that I've been playing recently that uh, has a Halloween thing going on that I can show you all. By playing recently, I mean playing for the last 10 years. Been up here, we've been up there. Could some places have been opened up after? Because, like, a bunch of goo dissolves every time you beat a boss, right? It's not exactly clear where. Voice actor is Frida Wolf, not a typo. She isn't hyper prolific, but she does have some fancy pants credits to her name. That's fair. I mean, Apex is a pretty good one. It was like... So we've gotten that one, right? The little symbol is not lit anymore. There was something over here, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. Something... something about over here. Is this... is this climbable? This is a climbable. Oh, I see. Okay. Up in here. Aha, we found one. There's some kind of argument among the others. Tufty says it's too late. 
Turns out Tufty was right. The ultra void, even if it reverse its pull, our people would the apple too far gone, she says. I say no. There's always a way. There's too many souls counting on us. I'll not have it. Dor, it's time to be brave. Would you do that for your old man? Intrigued by Halloween events, but also enjoy watching Hunt Secrets, that's fair. I hope she's in a better place. Um I mean I can keep hunting secrets, I just don't want it to be like a futile effort, you know? <laughs> Oops. Because uh, then this says So is it, does that mean they are back this way? Looking for places that look like places we haven't gone to, because I remember doing all these things. I remember jumping all these platforms. This zone ends like over here, right? Yeah, that's the crater. Can't go this way, right? I like how the Ultra Void that consumes the universe has a safety net. Whoops. We've been over there, right? Just because it's a super black hole doesn't mean it can escape OSHA compliance. True. Might shut this whole place down. When I've been up there, is that will let up there. Hey, that worked. Sir. Oops. Oops. Did a smart. Uh, and there was one over here, right? There was there was one up there. That doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know.
Have I been here? I don't imagine this is what they intend. No! Okay. Oops. Oops. Whatever. Looking forward to try out Don't Scream on Halloween. While not a fan of jump scares, I think they go really well with that particular kind of premise. I can't imagine my neighbors being happy about my screaming in my torture room. <laughs> I don't know that I know about Don't Scream. Is that like, um... Like related to Don't Starve? Clearly we've been up here, right? Mm. We've been up that one. I think we have. There are clearly places we have not been, and I don't know where they are. These levels are intricate, but they're not that big, right? Oops. I'm usually much better at finding secrets when I have a map to go off of. So you can kind of see not going to be past here, right? Ark's elders must be in parts of the void I haven't visited yet. Better mm. keep an eye out for more mushrooms. Like, you know, you can look at a map and see the places where you haven't been. It makes more sense, but like this is just... I don't know. Clearly there's secrets I haven't seen. And I have no idea where to look. Huh? Oh, this one? Huh? Hello! Yeah, I don't think we've been here. This seems promising. Nope. Yeah, well, there's totally one right there. Cool. Set in the 90s, it's got that VHS filter as you walk around with a camera, I presume, trying to figure out what's going on. You need a mic to play the properly game will kill the player character if you as much gasp audibly nice that sounds fun the best i can tell is that the ultra void sucks in planets and pulverizes them the tiny parts remain it almost looks like you're standing in a real place Mass transit architecture, a whole civilization, poof, gone. Death like this compounds and folds over on itself. That's what this place is, death compounded. No one to save here, just a cruel joke played on a medic who thought he'd seen it all. <laughs> Pardon this old man's musings, Darb. The starseed conduit for this sector is active. Finally got a clear signal from the green horn. Is a go. By the heavens, they've done it. There's hope yet, Darb. There's <laughs> hope <laughs> yet. Okay, 99 DM JM. Uh, thanks for hanging out. You did your part, Irving. Don't scream sounds interesting. Made. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that puts us one short, right?
like horror games that require you to have a mic. Yeah, it's an interesting concept for sure. Um, I liked when, uh, with Phasmophobia had a thing like that. Um, like you, you want to talk to your, your teammates, right? I don't think you have to be silent, but the game will react if you say certain things. Like if you say the ghost's name, the the ghost will get ups upset at you. Or sometimes it was like some of the ghost types would. Is that how it worked? Okay, there's clearly one spot left that we have not seen in here. Oh gosh. We've gone... I know I've gone up this path. Ooh, 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 that's... That's too many guys. Be like all the way at the top. I feel like I've. Hmm. I always ended up heroically drawing the ghost away from the rest of my team. <laughs> I'm sure that worked well. Worked out well every time. You could agitate the ghost by repeatedly say its name and lock your friends in a room with said agitated ghost. May or may not have ruined some friendships. Hilarious. I could see that upsetting some people. And then that goes across there. Hmm. My therapist certainly seems to think it worked well. <laughs> Is your therapist a wraith by chance? So we've gotten that one. There you go. <laughs> you shy? Hey, 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 hey. where the other one is. Hmm. Yeah, we've been here. How's it going? Just don't know 
And the one we're missing is like the first of the pips in here. So I don't know if that means I should be looking like way back in the the first part of the zone or if it just if that doesn't mean anything. We've been in here, right? The... what's her name was in here. This is just... there's, there's nothing. This is like a... a dialogue zone, so I can't even jump and stuff. Pavlov, I met a player called Boombox in a zombie horde mode. Played hardstyle beats as we walked through zombos like Space Marines run through heretics. This is sort of silliness that I love multiplayer games for. Yeah, that's fair. I always love a game where you can just happen across a person and have like an interaction and not have to like that be a longer a longer thing. Been up here. To what end? I don't know. There's just there's just nothing here. Boombox didn't even say a thing. They would just show up occasionally, play music, and leave without elaborating. <laughs> a true hero. Shows up, plays music, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Where did this one go? This one's here. Like, why? Why does that one exist? Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything... don't really do anything. Superfluous rails. How dare you.
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but I can get another thing. Does that does that count for anything? Oh. Welcome back, Ray. What can we do for you? Hey, got all the things. Finished and stuff. How can we help you? I said. Hooray! Don't even get an achievement for that. That led to a cash, but I've already got it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Whatever. I know I've been up there. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not even seeing the little clue sign. Just, just goo and tentacles. Nothing but goo and tentacles. I just love the ground. I just, I just love skating along the ground. I want to know what like the, like the physics for the ground has got to be. Something kind of special, right? I'm I'm just going in circles at this point. Uh, so unless someone has suggestions on where to look, I feel like I've gone to I've gone to all the places I can see and conceptualize. There was this inside bit. And there was this bit. Been up here. Yeah, it's just right here. Hmm.
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm stumped. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, and we'll we'll do something slightly different. Confirm. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. There's an hour left, and there we go. Uh, the game I've been playing forever uh, is called Guild Wars 2. Shocking no one, uh, but I've never played it on stream. And there's really no reason not to, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see if I can get it to hook in easily. Yeah, there we go. Look at me! You're gonna get to see all my goodies. Uh, game audio like that. There we go. Uh, this is the... Yeah, chat play Mad King says. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's kind of where I'm thinking. Um, the top of... Not not this next hour, but the, the next hour. There's gonna be Mad King says. Um... But look at me, I have... I have all sorts of fanciness. Uh, but the Halloween event is going on right now. And that's always fun, right? And my turn... Is... Is all... Is all complicated, whatever. Um... This is the, the main city, and it is all Halloweenified now. Oh yeah, I have a cool dragon. You like my dragon? As it glitches out on the landscape. Hello, other cool dragon. Let's be dragons. <laughs> I have a lot of shiny stuff in this game. Um, but the, the main thing I've been doing other than Mad King says, which is on a timed thing. I can only see your character so Why? Why is... Why is the window thing... The window captures being weird? What does that mean? Here we are. Here's me. Here's my dragon. All glowy. I even have a, I have a legendary weapon. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool in this video game. Um, but other than Mad King says, the thing I've been doing is the labyrinth. Um, and this is, we can do this for a little bit. This is entertaining for a minute. Um, we can find a group, right? Uh, we go up into here to looking for a group, and we can logo to festivals in large squads. They've, if you haven't played Guild Wars recently, um, they've they've made this nice. Um, one, if you don't know Guild Wars two, the main thing to know is that it's very instance based, and that every instance has a cap, uh, like a population cap. Um, so all of these are groups of people who are doing stuff in here, uh, but these these instances fill up. Um, new lab, new dogs. Yeah. Um, so let's join this one. And we're going to try to join in that... Oh, it's, this one just has space. Okay. That's cool. That doesn't always happen. This must be very fresh. Unless I joined the wrong person. I don't think I did. Where's our commander? Way down there. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they added a queue to the, to the thing. So you can actually just queue up for a specific instance and it'll tell you what spot you are in line and it'll tell you how many people are in front of you. Yeah, it's great. Uh, but then I'll just, you know, blast this with fire. Uh, we're fighting the legendary Skeletal Lich. I don't know why most of our squad isn't in the instance. I don't know why. Oh, and I have, have game music going. I'm just, I'm just gonna get annihilated here. Do that. So 
like my <laughs> can my computer handle all this? Nope. And the lich likes to fear because of course. It is a spooky, scary skeleton. It sure is. It's got a, a big scythe, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is the this is the Halloween event. Is kind of what is one of the things you can do. As I nearly die. Uh, but speaking of, of games where you can just have interactions with people, like, I don't know any of these people. These are all complete strangers to me. But we've organized into a group, and we all know what we're doing, and we're all just helping each other out. And even if, like, we weren't in the same party, like, this game is very friendly about what you get credit for. You don't need to be in a party with a person to share credit with someone. Um, but of course, it is, it's better, too, but... Oh, a glorious chest. I think I, uh, it's open, so yeah. Should also carve the pumpkins. And this area is just, it's just a big maze, and then these doors pop up, and we fight the things that come out the doors. Sometimes it's a bunch of little skeleton dudes like this. And sometimes it's a big bad boss. But either way, we blow them up and we get rewards. Like candy. Got a, got a phoenix? Yeah, it's a phoenix. The we know what we're doing must be a Guild Wars exclusive thing. It sure doesn't sound like your average WoW raid. Well, this isn't a raid, is the probably the main thing to know. Um, like, we're, we're in a raid group. We're in a very large group, but this is essentially open world content. Um, there are raids, and those do take more coordination the point where I haven't done them <laughs> because I don't know I haven't been a part of a guild enough to actually get you know permission to go in and, and do the thing um, raids can be a little intense but basically everything out of, outside of raids which is like 95% of this game is just pickup groups um, like the big um, like these these are just these are buffs that people leave down and you just look. I have buffs now. I've seen people standing in AoE during world boss fights as well. That's fair. I mean, you'll see that too, but. I don't know. This game is. I. I've played WoW and I've played Guild Wars, and I prefer Guild Wars. I will say that. If only because. I mean, A, there's no monthly fee. Uh, so I'll. You know, we'll, bait, we'll buy the expansions as they come out, but then if you get bored of it, you can put it back down. And you, you're not, you know, losing money because you're paying a first subscription that you're not using. Um, that's always my favorite part. Like, I, I have all these shiny things. I've done the whole dang game, except for the most recent expansion. We haven't bought that one yet. But we will. But I've done this very intermittently over the last, like, decade. I was, like, you know, one day we got bored and we are like, let's make a legendary. And then, like, three months later we had a legendary. And then we put the game back down again. And now, we're, now I'm back. I like that I can... I don't have to be so devoted to this game to be successful in it.
Skip this boss. I should probably change my thing, right? I've read that Guild Wars new gear sets are generally side grades to prevent power creeping. Yes, there is no gear treadmill in this video game. And that is that is another part of my favorite thing. There's been um, a good handful of expansions at this point. Um, there was, what, Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons? Was there a... Yeah. And then, like, a bunch of content between the expansions, too. They have their, their Living World seasons as well. Um, and then this most recently... Most recent expansion, Secrets of the Obscure. None of those have raised the level cap. None of those have introduced more powerful gear. Um, like from a strict like item level perspective. Um, what happens is um, like my my gear all has uh, where can I go to equipment? Like my 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 chest piece gives me power, precision, condition damage, and expertise, right? Those are those are stats, those mean things, whatever. Um, sometimes when a new expansion comes out, they'll introduce a new combination of stats. Like, I think the fact that I have expertise, it comes from one of those expansion sets. Uh, I might be I might be wrong. But the but it'll be a side grade. It'll be like I traded some condition damage for expertise, um, what, like that kind of a situation. So they'll give you more. They'll give you more options, but not more power. Um, but like you could, you could not have that and still be at the same same power level. You just might not be quite as optimized. And I definitely dig that. Um, you can also get. Like, 90% of the possible power very, like, quite easily. Um, like, the, the gear rarity levels, they go... Like, there's exotics, and then there's... Artifact? Is that what they're called? What do I have? Ascended. Ascended is the highest. And then there's legendaries, but legendaries are, like, the same power level as Ascended, but then you just have the freedom to change your stats more frequently. Um, but then... Like, Ascended is full power, and then Exotics is, like, 90% of that. And it, it takes a tenth the effort to make Exotics as, as Ascended. So as you're making a new character, like, you reach max level before you're done with the base game. You get max... you get 90% of your... of your armor's power very quickly. And then you have, like... 90% of the content of this game is grinding for, not even grinding, but like working for side grades, building si building your side grade stuff to be more more optimized in your build, um, or getting like the elite specializations, which are, um, which are also side grades, like I have, uh, like your talent tree essentially, um, you have you have three talent trees, but there's like five options. And you you pick which three of the talent trees that you have. Uh, like if I go to what build, so I'm I'm soul reaping curses and scourge, but there's also what are the what are the other ones? Uh, oh, um, 
death magic, spite, and blood magic, like I can I can swap these out. Um, so there's there's a handful of different talent tree things there, but they have elite ones as well. So you can have um, oh, it's like a prestige. It's like a It's, it's a talent tree, but it changes one of the base mechanics of your class. And for each expansion, they introduced a hand, you know, another elite specialization per class. So I'm playing as a Scourge, which is a Path of Fire specific thing. And that changes like how my, my base mechanic works, like my, my, my soul reaping. I'm a necromancer, so every time things near me die, it charges up this green bar here. And then I use that green bar for things. And the things that I can use that green bar for can be changed based on my talent trees. And so so as they build out the game, they keep adding things like that as opposed to a gear treadmill, which I love. Uh, I just know that I wouldn't be able to stop playing if I did start Guild Wars. Got to keep MMO addiction in check. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's that's a real thing for sure. Um, but that's also why I like Guild Wars and not having a... A monthly subscription kind of a thing. Um, this this person is fun. They like to zip around and yeah, they do they do all this stuff. Um, the other thing that they add as the game progresses through all of its stuff, other than like story, the main thing that they add is story story content, and it's all like very nicely voice acted. Um, it's like honestly, I love I love the story stuff that they do in this game. All very good. Uh, but they add mechanics like... Like the fact that we have mounts. This game did not initially ship with mounts. That was a thing that was added in like the second expansion. Yeah, that's a, that's a Path of Fire thing. Um, but then even then, they added, you know, a handful of mounts for the expansion. And then in the subsequent Living World season, they added... The sky scale, like the mount that I'm, like the dragon that I'm riding, wasn't even one of the initial mounts that they added. And now, with Secrets of the Obscure, they're adding in mastery tracks that add new abilities for when you are mounted, right? Is my understanding. Like, it's... We're not, we're like, we're getting a little bit more powerful because there's more stuff that we can do, but it's not because we got better gear. It's because we have freaking dragons that we didn't have before. I find that much more interesting. Like when uh, the first expansion, Heart of Thorns, they added gliders. So like the whole base game was, was constructed around, you know, we can jump and stuff. Um, there's jumping puzzles, but there's also falling damage, so you'd have obstacles that are just a really tall cliff and you, you can't you can't fall down it, right? But now we all have gliders. So the a lot of the levels for Heart of Thorns were built with that kind of vertical maneuverability in mind. So they ended up with like very strange maps, like very vertical maps. Uh, it's 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 nuts. Heart of Thorns maps are some of my favorite maps in any any MMO. Um, you you don't see things like um, like the canopy level. Um, you, that no one does that. <laughs> some of the elite specs are really distinct. Like Mesmer gets a tank spec. Yeah, but yeah, they can change like the role that you take in a party. Absolutely. And you don't have to pay to respec. Like, I can... If you have... Um, you can have, like, preset slots, right? And as long as you're not in combat, you can swap between them. And it's just... It's very kind. It's very... Uh, low, low barrier, I guess. It's just good. It's just a good video game. I see someone has a, uh, there's a raptor. This person has a griffin. 
Like that was the original flying mount. They added Griffin and then they added Skyscale. So now there's two different flying mounts and they work differently. Like they have a different mechanic from each other. And you get them in different ways. Thinking wasn't a dedicated enroll in Guild Wars 2 until Chronomancer. That's fair. I mean, this game doesn't even have dedicated roles in quite the same way, right? Like, it, you, like, high level content like raids does end up with a, with a tank DPS healer kind of a split. But, like, for all this, like, who's, who's tanking here? No one's tanking. <laughs> We're all just beating the crap out of these things. And a lot of that's just because, like, abilities have an innate ability to, to feed off of each other. Um, like, I... As a, as a skirt, I put down a lot of ground effects, a lot of AoE stuff that'll harm enemies, but also like do good things for allies. And I think that's cool. Base game is free too. Oh yeah, the, the free to play on this is, is not bad at all. Um, how dare they offer me a good product for free so they can sell their massive expansions for relatively little money? That's how those corpos get you. It's true. It's very true. Um, this game is a, a bit microtransaction-y. Um, like I'm probably a little blind to it right now because I've been playing for so long, so I've, I've put money into it in the spaces that I, that I want to. Um, but like your bank? Like your bank is kind of small when you start out. But you 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 just buy more stuff. You buy slots. You buy bag slots and bank slots and stuff like that. Adding, I think, added tanking a good way to let some of the fights be less brawly. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like the the game just gets more interesting, right? It gets more dynamic. And then once you have all of the power things that you want, then you start going for cosmetics, like the. Um, like the gear I have, I have ascended gear, but then as, as new content comes out and they release more skins for your armor, you go, oh, I want that one. You don't, I don't have to make ascended gear again. You just get, like you get an achievement that unlocks the skin and then you change your gear into the skin for a very cheap currency. And it's, and it's easy. Like I could go into my, like if I weren't in combat right now, I could go into my menu and I could change out like the entirety of how my armor looks, but it would still be like all the same stats. So just like unlocking all of the skins becomes a thing. And not all the skins. Don't try to unlock all the skins. That's that's too many. That there's there's too many. Um, but you can you can focus on the ones you want. Also, now I'm fighting a giant candy corn golem because video games. I should probably eat some luck food, shouldn't I? Did that actually work? Yes. Are you telling me to buy out their entire skin stock? Consider it done. I mean, a lot of things you can't buy. Like, there's a... Um, like the, the skin that I have, I don't know that you could buy this. I think you have to do the achievement. There are a lot of things that you can buy. Um, there is, I mean, there is an auction house. Uh, right? Like there's, there is a trading post. 
I could just go skins. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in here. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in here, but there's a lot of the really, really fancy stuff. I think you have to do the achievement. And it becomes, uh, it's all account bound stuff. So it's like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do the achievement and give you the skin. I don't think that's even possible. For a lot of them. The other thing that this game does a really good job with is putting a lot of uh, a lot of the things that you unlock are unlocked for your entire account. Like uh, like all this mastery stuff. Um, like you're like you you just unlock all these passives. Um, there's all these different categories of passives um, that you after you reach max level your XP starts going towards these masteries. And those are all account-wide unlocks. Like, I could create a level one character and go out into the first starting zone, and I would be able to glide and fly and do all the stuff that I've unlocked for, for Masteries immediately. Well, you might not be able to buy me a buy me skill, but I sure can buy me someone with skill to win games and achievements for me. True. That is probably a thing you could find. Like there, and there are a lot of things that you can buy. Like there's going to be, um, like all their weekly stuff. Like what's this? Haunted Ghost Staff Skin. Good goodness, look at this. This is this is a staff somehow. I don't skiff. Sorry. Uh, there's boats now. One of the more recent ones added boats and fishing. Like fishing was like one of the last things they added to this game. Hilariously enough. Um, but you get, like, you can get a boat, and you can make your boat look like that. That's like, what? That's, uh... How much is this? 1600? That's... It's gonna be, that's like two... No, no, 1600. That's 20 bucks. This is, so that's, this is a $20 skin. Then you can make your torch look like that. Oh, that's dope. Look at that. Um, there's skins for all of the uh, all of the mounts. Have all these ridiculous skins. Like this is a griffin, but it looks like a bat instead. And they 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 just constantly put out these these skins. They're very active in their skin game. <laughs> They're all very good. Love how like different everyone looks. Oh, it's Steve. Steve is here. Everyone panic. It's a skeleton with a chainsaw. Everyone ran off. No, come back. Everyone come back. It's Steve. <laughs> Bring Steve. Okay. <laughs> Commander, come back! We have a Steve! <laughs> it's, he's just back there. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, there's like three people back there still fighting him. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, guys. Don't leave me behind, Commander. Oh, 
still in combat, so I can't mount. Poor Steve was minding his own business until a bunch of hooligans showed up and started wrecking the place. That's not quite true. <laughs> um, Steve is the one in this, uh, like, so all of the bosses in here will spawn at those doors and they'll just stay at the doors. Like, these things won't move. They won't patrol around. Steve patrols. Steve will actually hunt us down. Uh, so we, we usually deal with Steve when you see him. So it's kind of funny that we ran away. Steve does not mind his own business. We're going back. Where are we going now? I guess there's a door over there. Knock knock, trick or treat. Steve was minding his own business. His business is chainsawing. That's true. There's still a couple people over there <laughs> trying to fight him. <laughs> oh, I should do the clock tower. Maybe we'll do the clock tower. Mount up to tag Steve. Okay. We're going to go rescue our friends from Steve. I know someone someone spawned the boss. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> Steve, where are you? Steve dead? I doubt it. Yeah, it's at half health. <laughs> Here he is. Okay, stop running out of my stuff. Get out of the way! Oh, and then he just goes right back, of course. Oh, and there's like a, a downed system, but like before you're dead. Like if you die, then you're you're like in a downed state, and then someone can come by and, and help you back up again, or you're truly dead. You don't have to even to like be in a party with someone to help them back up. You just can come across a person who's dead on the ground in the middle of nowhere and help them up and they go thank you and you go cool thanks and you go about your business there we killed steve Mm-hmm. 
Too soon. Are we gonna fight the pumpkin head down there? I guess we're slowly going that way. You're not even gonna go. Okay. I just follow the commander tag. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll just go in circles. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you want over here now? Excuse you. We'll do one more door. Let's do, I guess it's Lich again. Why not? Oh, I'm like, he always gets me with his stupid shockwave thing. thing that I like about this game, not to just sit here and praise Guild Wars forever, but I, this, I mean, they get a lot of things right. I, I like a lot of the choices that they made. Um, like, you know how in Guild Wars, you'll have a bunch of abilities that have, uh, you know, like crowd control kind of effects, like you can stun someone or mind control someone or, or fear someone. Um, hi. Choose a place, please. Yes, yes. I, uh, you'll have a bunch of abilities that can, you know, t do something significant to an enemy, but then you get to a boss, and they're like, well, you can't, you can't stun a boss. You can't mind control a boss. So it'll just make the boss immune, right? And then that ability does nothing. Like, you, you go into a boss fight, and you're like, oh, well, I, this this mind control ability is just useless here. But you can they kind of get away with it in WoW because you can just have all of your skills, right? You have 15 skill bars going up the side of your screen, and you just have access to all those things at all times. But, like, these skills down here, that's how much stuff I can do right now. I don't have... Like, if I wanted to put in another skill in there, I'd have to take one of these out. Um, so in, 
in exchange for that, they don't make those crowd control abilities completely useless in a boss fight. Instead, what they do is they give them like a secondary stat bar, a, uh, a break bar. Um, and you'll now that now that I'm not fighting someone, I can't point to it and show you. But below their health bar will be a gray bar. And that responds to those crowd control abilities exclusively. So, like you, you can't, you can't stun the boss, but you use your stun ability, and it makes progress towards the gray bar. And when the gray bar breaks, then you get like a, an opening to do a bunch more damage to it. And some fights are like, you need to be doing that in order for you to succeed. So now instead of that ability becoming a worth, you know, taking up a slot and being a liability. Um, taking a break? Okay, I guess that's probably a cue for us to do as well. Um, but like, now those abilities are useful and you, like, you actually want to have them. Ooh, that's a good banner. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, it's so like this, uh, Spectral Grasp. It does, it does ice, it, like it does, it does a frost effect. Um, but it also does a yank. Like it's a movement ability. I yank things to me. Um, things with, with a, that gray bar will be immune to the yank. But it that will do damage to the gray bar instead. So this is like useful for... Useful for yanking small enemies and also useful for breaking break bars on bosses. And I think that's brilliant. Like I have a fear. This one here, it's a fear. You can't fear a boss, but fear is really good at, at stunning them. Um, what am I doing? Let's... Okay, so I left my group. We're gonna teleport over here. We're gonna leave. Something slightly different. Oh, so it's like, so like nothing's wasted. Nothing's, nothing on my bar goes unused. It's just all situational. Uh, okay, so I want to do... There's a thing called the Clock Tower, and it's a big old jumping puzzle. Um, I did it earlier in the event, and got to the top, and realized there's an NPC up there who's selling something cool. Uh, but I didn't have the thing that I needed to buy it. So now I have to rem remind myself... Hey, what it was that he needed. I think it was like pine nuts or something. Uh, let's do... Hey, creature. Creature. I hear you chomping on wires back there. I see you now. Yes, it's almost dinner time. Hi. You can lay down. Mysterious Crafts Raven, that's right. So I have... I have the candy corn cobs. I think I have the black pigment. I need... Oh, the nuts are different. Interesting. Uh, okay, so then which one do I want? I want... Okay, I'll ask you a question with no context. Should we do sad, happy, angry, or blushing? Which one of those do we want? <laughs> They're all good. There's no wrong answer here, I'll tell you that much. Angry one is pretty good. Angry is the classic one. Let's do angry. Uh, because that one needs pine nuts. Which we can find. Bizarre dots. 
Oh, that's uh, that's that place. Okay. So then I need to go to Bongar Pass. Also, the map is huge now. Timberline Falls here. I might have to do a heart for him. Uh, where is this? Krongor waypoint. Okay. Which which one is that? Vale, Frostland. Let's zoom out more. Oh, it's way over here. Gonna be it's you. Is that really the only place to get this? It's a bag of pine nuts. I'm gonna have to go all the way out into the middle of nowhere to find them. That's how this game works, though. Right? Am I? Where am I? Or is it up there? It might be up there. Uh, but, I mean, so we're in like the base game area, but I can fly. So I can traverse these areas a lot faster than like, you would have been able to initially. Is this where I want to be? Krongar Pass, okay, yes. So there's an NPC in here. Which means we have to do the area's questy thing. So I haven't been here before. Is it you? It's... Scholar Thalen. Well, it's the heart vendor, of course. So it's... Where's the heart person? Up there. You inside? Oh, here you are. Um, so this is this is our, our person that we have to buy it from, but the, the heart is empty, so we have to satisfy This is basically our quest giver equivalent. Um, but instead of you know getting A's a quest to kill five boars. Um, there's going to be a bunch of things to do in this area. We want to rouse passed out partiers, sample beer and roasted meat on a sick stick, send slackers back to their posts. Um, oh look, a bunch of script. Bunch of bunch of drunken script. Good. Um, buzzed script. Tipsy script. <laughs> oh, and here's. Passed out drunk. Okay. Oh, but someone else just did it. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to take a water bucket. I'm going to toss it on this person. There. So now I got a little bit of progress. That's how... That's how quests work. You... You're, you're dancing too much, aren't you? Rouse passed out people... Sample beer. Where's the beer? Oh, oh, drop the bucket. Propose a toast. I can do that. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> a bunch of horns. Meat stand. I can take meat. Eat the meat! Hooray! Yeah, and like that counts, that's completing my quest. Uh, can I propose a toast on this one too? Propose a toast. Make a boast. Okay. Uh. Uh, 
Do you see any more passed out people? Oh, there's more meat. Eat the meat. Oh, there. There's a person. Uh, water bucket. And toss. There you go. Elixir of Heroes. Become invulnerable. Okay. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, here. And then we can propose a toast. And propose a toast. And, hey, look, you're just right next to a bucket. I should just kick the bucket over onto your face. There you go. Who is left? Uh, oh, here. Just... And, uh, drink from this table? Okay. Oh, this person's here again. So I can just do that. Cool. And then you're probably here again. There. Done. I have now done the quest for this little town area. Now I can talk to the heart person. Hello. I want to buy pine nuts in bulk. Because? Reasons? I think I just need the one. Uh, right, so I need, yeah, one pine nuts in bulk, and I need... 10 pouches of black pigment. I need to make sure that I have those. But we can do that by going to our bank. We even got like a reward for completing a heart. <laughs> oh, whoops, I stepped on a thing. No, not you. You. Uh, and then I think it's in here, so I can search... Pigment? Uh, black. Yeah, so I have 11. Okay, perfect. And then I have the, the candy corn cobs. Yeah, totally. Cool. I have what I need for my special thing. So now, I'm going to come over to the clock tower. Uh, and I'm going to do the stopped one, because it's way easier. <laughs> uh, so this is a jumping puzzle. And it's a, it's a jumping puzzle that's only available during Halloween. Normally... This is a timed jumping puzzle. So you're jumping up around this broken clock tower nonsense, and then the, the water's rising beneath you, and you have to go, you have to climb faster than the water's rising. Uh, but this year, they introduced a non-timed version. So that's cool, it's way easier. Uh, so I can, I can kind of take my time in here. So I just want to get to the top of this. Whoops! I thought that was, uh, I thought I was gonna make that. I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. See, if the water were rising, we'd just be dead. <laughs> it'd be a, oh, now we're dead. But it'd be a start over thing every time you miss one of those jumps. Come on, let me in. This is way less stressful. I've only successfully completed the timed version like two or three times. If that. It's, it's a little intense. Something about non-timed version makes me sad, but that may have be may have been because I did the whole thing on a timer as a char. That's fair. I mean, the timer version is still there. It's just, it's, I mean, it's intense, right? <laughs> and doing it as a char 
Um, I could see that being, I could see that being tricky. Jumping puzzles are way funner when you can't see your feet. Yeah, totally. Whoop. Some of these are kind of tight. There we go. Oof. Uh, okay. Ooh, jeez. We're getting there. Like, past here, it's like, I've been this far so infrequently. Um, is this the spot? Mm. I think, I think we're going here. No! No! Okay. Way less stressful when you can just fall halfway and try again. Oh, come on. Come on. No, damn it. Yay, jumping puzzles. I'll let you go first. Oh, you just went that way, okay. That makes sense. I like that better. Wow, that was close. Okay, and then at this point, and there's a cat in my face. There's a yes, yeah. Okay. Creature. Ugh. Okay. I think we've made it. Yeah, we just go here. There we go. Made it inside. Very cool. And then that was even like, hey, look, I've even completed a thing. Mad King's gift. Hooray. Cool. Loot. And then there is a bird. Hello. Let's see if I can get it. Mysterious Crafts Raven. So now I can buy the angry paper bag. <laughs> like, see this, like you can't buy the bag. You have to do the jumping puzzle and get these currencies and buy the bag from the Raven during Halloween to get it. That's how you get it. But now I have it unlocked. Now I can go to a whole nother character and, and just do it. So I'm gonna come in here to my my equipment, right? And then I can see my wardrobe. I can go to my face. Um, and I can even, uh, yeah, just you're you're just applying the skin. Apply. There we go. That's me now. <laughs> and all I consumed to do that was, um. Like, you, not even a, a one of the charges, like... It gave me an item that gave me one switch to that skin for free kind of a thing. So yeah. Done. And there was like three other different kinds of bags there. They required different kinds of nuts. Hello everyone. 
He's just hanging out. Okay, bye. Uh, I want to leave. Now we're ten minutes away from Mad King Says. Oh, there was something else that I got recently. Uh, as far as, like, cool cosmetic-only things, uh, there are transformation tonics. This is gonna be... It needs, like, a load. <laughs> there we go. Look at me! Look how creepy I am. That's just a thing I can do now. Creature. Still have one of the unlimited ones from Fighting Scarlet. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I don't have, or I didn't have any real cool uh, infinite tonics, so I I had to go out and like find a cool one. So this, this is the one I found. This is the one I could get pretty easily. And these and it, this is everyone waiting for Mad King says. Do you like it? Yes, I'm... I love this. Uh, what is it called? It's a... It, un, endless Bone Skinner. It's like one of the corrupted beasts from the, the Jormag arc, I think, is what it is. Robots that are uncomfortably thick. Uh, well, uncomfortably? <laughs> I still actually need to play season one, now that it's a thing that we can do. I need to just sit down and do it. I should. I definitely should. Look, someone's got this, like, a swing held up by birds. Also that griffin in back, uh, this one. I think that's a. I think it's technically a sky scale, but it's super, super cool. I don't think I have. I don't have that skin. I mean, there are so many. Oh, hello. Uh, there are so many good mount skins. Uh, let's see. Style, I guess it would be. What do they have on the store today? Sometimes they'll have um, like you'll buy a you'll buy an item, and you'll get like one out of five skins. Like it'll just give you one of one of them. Ooh, Dark Monarch. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, that's that's dope as heck. Um, oh, and the backpacks. There's a there's a scruffy backpack. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it even it even dangles. <laughs> Jezebel, can you stop? Eternal eclipse scepter. Oh, jeez. Look at that. It's so cool. Shatter Spark Sword. It's pretty cool. Shrine Guardian Bow. Hmm, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I want to see the other mounts. Show me the other mounts. I don't know if there's like in a, one of the adoption boxes. Like all of this stuff is temporary. All this stuff cycles through the shop. Salmon Run Fishing Rod Skin. Oh, it's got like fish going down the length of it. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, hiss Emote. There's emotes that you can unlock. And I can't, I want to, I want to preview it. Serve. <laughs> 
Abaddon's glider? Oh my god. Ooh. That's ridiculous. Adventurous cat outfit. Oh my god. It gives you cat ears. <laughs> Aviator sunglasses. I mean, why not? Why not? I wonder how it looks on Char. Oh. You should find out and tell me. Hello. Uh, Desert Racer Mount Adoption License. Yeah, here we go. So this is going to have like all these different skins. Like you buy it once and, it's, and, and you'll get one of these out of it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the Jackal Mastiff. Oh, I I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh. On the Roller Beetle, of course. And all these mounts, like, they behave very differently from each other. Bork, bork, bork. Ooh. And then the Griffin. Ooh. Yeah, like those are all those are all good. And then And then there's like some individual skins. Look at that. Oh, okay, so you can spend you can spend more and you get to like pick the one that you get out of the box. Enchanted Dragon Crown. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, there's just there's just all sorts of skins in here. The, yeah, the plus siege tur plush siege turtle is too much. It's too much. I I adore it too much. And there's a plush raptor too. I don't think I've seen the plush raptor. Oh my god! It's just a Yoshi. It's amazing. It is amazing. Uh, and there's and the plush griffin. I've seen the griffin. The griffin's been around a while. Feature. Ooh, glowy hands, fire hands, and flaming horns. Oh, yes, please. Uh, oh, and then there's the the jackal, the war jackal, or war hound. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the stained glass backpack, I've I think I I might even have this one, but it's it's dope, like dope. <laughs> Wide rim glasses. Why not? Like yeah, it's it's so good. And then the die system, you can make everything look so good. Plush Yoshi. Yeah, right? Like, come on. Oh, and some birthday cake. Someone is a giant snowball. <laughs> More tags. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess for this I'm going to... let's pause the music, right? We can pause the music. That's a thing we can do. So that we can hear Mad King in all his glory.
Here's Mad King. Prepare yourselves for Sad socks who don't know the rules. Hear me now! You must do only what your mad king says and nothing else! Consider it a lesson. Ready? If not, that's unfortunate for you. <laughs> because the game begins now! <laughs> In case it's not obvious, this is literally just, uh,. Simon says, I'm going to pass out now. That's fair. Thanks for showing off another game I probably wouldn't be able to resist for too long. That's fair. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, come by come by next week. You know where we'll be at. Um, hope to see you around. Are you gonna are you gonna tell me to do something, Thorn? There you go. And then we all sit. <laughs> oh, look at the ghost! I don't know what the ghost is from. My loving subject, did I hear you beckon me? Your mad king says... Hey. Oh, and he moves around. Anyway. Let the resounding waves of laughter shake the trees and doors. Your mad king says. Oh, but that's a fake one. How many people are gonna fall for it? Oh, there's one, two, three. <laughs> Mad King didn't say. I miss when Joko and Mad King would bicker at each other. They do it in the labyrinth still. They were doing it, we just were having music that kind of drowned them out. Don't do it. Someone in chat is saying they want uh, a ringtone of that laugh. And I can't disagree. Shake your heads in disapproval. Because someone somewhere has undoubtedly proposed something dark. It would be tragic if that disappeared. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, the, every time, like I said, to your, like, your push notification sound, every time you get a, a Discord message, it goes, your, your phone goes nuts. That would get old. Someone has all the wow, all these all these orbs. That's like the um the legendary amulet stuff. I'm sure you would come out the other end with a bright, shiny disposition. Yeah, exactly. How 
How can you be anything but uplifted with that laugh? It's very inspiring. I'm not falling for it. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> you're right here. Wow, a lot of people pointed that time. <laughs> I did not see that, King says! <laughs> Your mad king says... I can spell. There we go. Your mad king says, <laughs> Okay. He's just really into kneeling. That's fine. Am I kneeling on both? Huh. I didn't realize that... Are you enjoying yourself? Like, Char do the one kneel. Like, the one knee. But humans do both knees. Hi! Hello again! Oh, hi. This has become far too far. We gather around, loyal subjects. Take a load off. Sick. I oh, got a lot of people that time. But I'm already sitting. To be my subject, you must be fierce, menacing, frightening even. Demonstrate this for your king. Rawr. Silly creature, silly creature. Oh. oh, and it's over. So then we got our. Did I, I need to actually do the need to loot this? Right. Is it, okay, he's, he's gonna teleport us all to the thing. Mad King will play one last trick on us all. And transform us all into costumes. What am I? Just a little zombie mummy thing? Yeah. And then there's a costume bra. Because of course there is. Oh. Hooray, costume bra. Uh, but then we get, yeah, we got our three keys, pieces, and we assemble them into a key, and then we open the chest. Hi, creature. Can I help you? You realize it's not even dinner time, right? 
And then we got some ectoplasm and some more more goodie bags. Now I have a whole bunch of things. Yeah, like I got 180 trick or treat bags. I'm gonna open all these. Yeah. 250 trick or treat bags. Just from what we did in an hour. So that's cool. And if I were to sell these, I need some on the trading post. Uh, almost nine gold. Nine gold in an hour. We're playing Halloween mini games. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. What's that? Oh, I don't have this. Oh, that's really good. I like that one. Chained light, chained longbow. So yeah, I just randomly got uh, a skin and a bow skin that I don't have. You can see up in the middle there. It says skin locked chain longbow. But now I'm going to salvage it, break it into its constituent parts, and I unlock the skin as a bonus. So now I can turn any longbow to look like that if I wanted to. And that's how it works. Anyway. Uh, I think we're about done today. Mm, yeah, that's all cool. Um, yeah, I got, I got nothing. Uh, today, uh, today's been a little, yeah. Today's a little strange, but I, I think that's fine. We beat a video game. We hung out in another, another video game. Hooray! Um, next weekend will be far more structured. Uh, right? Uh, come by on next Saturday, and I will be here playing Dwarf Fortress for 24 hours straight as part of the Extra Life Gaming Marathon to benefit children's hospitals. Um, so I, I hope that you'll come by and uh, donate and stuff, but if not, then just come by and check out what we're going to be doing. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to, to uh, our first dwarf fortress. Fortress. We're gonna return to Castle Elder Ring, and we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get up into there. Because um, we left some stuff undone there. We need to finish our throne room, uh, and we need to finish mining out the goodies from that ridiculous, uh, strange pillar. So we'll do that. Um, we'll reclaim a fortress. That's a thing we haven't done on a, on a stream before. Um, we'll reclaim our fortress and we'll see what that process looks like. So I, I've only done it like once or twice and it's... It's fun. <laughs> That'll be cool. Um, but come by on, you know, Monday and Thursday next week. We'll be continuing our Metro Percent Challenge. Probably wrapping it up this week. Uh, in all likelihood. Should be able to finish that up in two episodes. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'll go back to Elder Ring and see, and see how that's doing. See how our doors are doing back out in the, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, this song just has a long period of quiet at the end. Okay, whatever. Is this not updating? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're done. Um, today's episode was brought to you by stars. And by you. Uh, clicking those buttons. Uh, liking, subscribing, joining the Discord, doing all that good stuff. Um, if you're watching VODs, then, then leave a comment. I love, I love comments. I read all the comments. There's like a dozen comments on my entire YouTube page. So leave a comment and I will see it. Because that's how that works. Um, but other than that, have a good rest of your weekend, and don't forget to stay kind.